Hi, I'm Ben from Wigs by Vanity, and um, on popular demand, I'm going to start doing tutorials. So here's my first one. Today I'm just going to go through and just do the most basic thing that you can do with a, to a wig, but one of the most necessary things is brushing it and washing it. Okay, so I've got this beautiful Courtney in Story Sweetheart that a friend of mine has, well, a customer has has um has given me. And um, she's not in a terrible state, but she's not in a great state. So we're going to start by cleaning the lace. Now, isopropyl alcohol. You can buy it from a hardware store, you can buy it from a beauty supplier, um, and sometimes you can buy it from the, the pharmacy or chemist. But it depends on where you live and what your rules and, and laws are. Um, it's like 100% alcohol or close to 100% as possible. I think this is like 97.99.7 or something. I don't know, it doesn't say on here, but it's, trust me, I've tasted it and it is strong. Okay, so, a little bowl, pour a little bit into your bowl. You can have it in a spray atomizer, which is really easy when you're traveling. Um, but when I'm at home in my wig room, I just always use a bowl. Uh, and I also use a toothbrush. Chucks and toothbrush or dishcloth. Um, now be careful with the toothbrush because it can fray the edges of your lace, but if you're gentle, you're fine. And if you've got a bit of a build up as well, it's really good because those little bristles get right in those holes and really work out that that um, glue. So this is has, this week hasn't actually gotten any glue because Summer has been very good and she's cleaned it for me. Because um, I hate getting weeks that I've got like a month's worth of glue and then I have to clean them up. I think it's just revolting. Anyway, um, it is dirty though, so so I just. Sweep, make sure you can see that. The toothbrush into the alcohol, and then simply on the inside, give it a, a gentle but firm rub. Okay, I don't want to say a scrub because scrub, you know, I, I don't want you to say, Oh, vanity said you could do this, and I did it, and it frayed my lace. And it's all it depends on your consideration, your care. Okay, I do this all the time with wigs, and I never have a problem. So don't come to me saying that you fucked me up. Oh, I can say fuck that I need to it. Um, so, just do that nice and slowly, don't rush it. And remember, if you do this every day, you don't have to worry about sitting there for hours and hours and hours, brushing off thick layers of crusty glue, which will damage your lace, because you've got to get in there and you've got to do it hard. Um, so, just gently do this all the way around, and before you know it, it'll be nice and clean, okay? So, I'll do this all this now. Actually, I'm going to do half of it, and I'm going to show you a little secret, a little trick. Okay? So, I've gotten half my lace clean. Now, I'll leave the rest of it. Uh, for when I'm washing it, okay? So we'll get back to that in this part. So we've cleaned the lace, what are we up to on time? That's fine. So the hardest thing about a Courtney, or any curly wig for that matter, is that people are scared of brushing it out for fear of losing the curl. It won't happen if it's a factory set, if it comes like that, then it should always stay like that. It may never, it never looks the same as when you bought it because it's impossible because it's hair and it moves and everything else. But it won't ever be straight unless you make it straight. So, we're going to look after it. We're going to brush it up. We're going to start with though, you can see underneath it gets quite knotty and quite dreadlocky. And that's normal, especially, I want to pull that down, especially if you wear necklaces and stuff like that. And just the sweat on the back of your neck and the heat will make it crease up. So, I'm just going to put it on your lap. And then with these these matted pieces, just use your fingers and separate them. Just just pull them apart so they're not one big chunk. They're a, it's a, sort of a much looser mess than it is. Um, big chunky jet blocks. So, and that goes the same all over the week. But if you have a big chunk somewhere that's, you know, like here, you can see this. See how that's like all one piece? Just get in there with your fingers and separate it. You're really not going to do much damage to it this way because you, you're not, you can feel 
with the um with your fingertips if you're pulling too hard. And of course pulling too hard is what damages the fibre. So you will sometimes get a little chunk of hair that will knot up and then it'll be like a little knot that like a little tumbleweed that comes out. Don't worry, get rid of it, you don't want it. You've done the damage, deal with it. So this also wouldn't be so bad if this was done more regularly. Like if 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 this customer had done this every night that she wore it and she took it off, she just made sure that there were no big chunks in there. Um, it would they'll never develop into these big chunks for one. Um, but also you also be really aware of when it needs a wash and when it needs to be brushed. Um, and I would say you, you really need to wash a wig every couple, every few wears. So every every three to four wears. If you want it to look nice and beautiful and you want it to last a long time, you have to put the effort into it to make it last. Otherwise, you just wear it. And that's, that's a little beauty about living in this disposable world. You buy something that is quite inexpensive considering the amount of work that goes into it. And you wear it, have fun with it, dispose of it, buy a new one. If not, put the effort in and the work and look after your things. It goes with life. Just general good advice from me to you for free. Okay, so we've done that. Now we're going to, what time are we up to? Yeah, plenty of time. So we're gonna spray a little bit of um, spray shine into it, like a little bit of a conditioner. You don't want a wet conditioner. Don't get like one of those pumps that make the hair wet because that's just gonna make it more difficult and you know, just it's not right. For synthetic wigs, you want an aerosol, okay? The best aerosol I've ever known is called Delva Spray Sheen Treatment. And it is just, divine it's perfect it's just I don't know what the formula is it feels like it's giving you cancer just the, 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 the spray in the air the smell yeah it's in your lungs it's there you know yeah it's not gonna help you um, but that's gone out of stock we just continue can't make it anymore can't get any more if anyone ever sees it buy it up big but this is PPS it's called extra shine and it's fine it's, it's, it's good it's one of the better ones the fudge also makes a good one but if you really like you know really cheap Silicon spray for your sewing machine or your hard, from your hardware is fine. That is not the best, but it'll do. But I'm going to not waste my devil spray sheet on this week. I'm going to um, <laughs> use the PPS. Okay, so spray it on. Be generous. This is going to help the, the brush glide through um, the fiber and the knots. So I've got like a wide tooth bent brush and I'm just going to just go through it and see what needs most attention. Like I can see that this side is quite good, the brush is going through not a problem. But when I say not a problem, if I try to put the brush in like this at the top and pull it all the way down to the end, you're going to have damage from the top to the end of the fibre. Simple as that. Synthetic fiber is like elastic. It's a plastic fiber. And when you pull elastic too tight, you're gonna get like really old underwear, if anyone ever keeps your underwear that long, um, or anything with elastic in it. And the little elastic coils, that's from overuse, overstretching. Exactly the same with the synthetic fiber. The synthetic fiber will stretch, and that's when it boings back into a curl, and you get those really frizzy ends. So we wanna avoid that, and brushing is probably the biggest cause of that. So really get in there and like I said rather than putting it in and dragging it all the way down through all those knots put it in and just keep taking it out and you can see I'm working the knots out because now all the knots that are there are here in the line but that's nice but as I'm walking out and then when I get to a chunk rather than getting to the chunk and then pulling it through that then I work that out it takes a long time but it took a long time for this wig to get this knotty so I put the effort in Okay, you can hear it. You can feel it and hear it. If you hear that, that's the hair tearing and ripping and stretching. Um, so you want to sort of, sort of take the brush out before it gets to that point. Since you hit a knot, take the brush out and then work it out. And you'll work it out. See, look, just like that, just like that. But it's an action of the wrist that you've got to get used to. Okay, so basically do that all over. And then underneath, this is the hardest part. So really get some nice shine in there. Put it on your lap, working from the ends and brushing down in that same technique. 
Okay, so I've brushed out this whole wig. Um, I've just gone through with the same presses that I explained before. And did the whole thing. And as you can see now, the brush is going through it. There will be some knots still in it, but that's okay. You're never gonna, because it's a curly wig, you're never gonna get like super, super smooth. 